Potential, live life your way. It is Tuesday evening, and as you all know, God, my lips look good. <laughs> as you all know, it's Tuesday, and it's my favorite, favorite time of the week. And why is that, you might ask? Because I get to play with you on the radio. I get to talk about the things that I want to talk about. And today, this week is my time because I've been having so many guests on the show. And what has happened is that I've kind of, I'm kind of losing my radio chops. I'm kind of like not being able to discuss things on the fly. And, and I'm kind of losing, you know, I feel like I'm losing that je ne sais quoi that I had when I first started. <laughs> je ne sais quoi. So tonight, this, is, this conversation is going to be about life. And in the midst of the conversation, we're going to be bringing somebody else on the phone. So I'm not exactly alone. This is going to be a person that's calling from Rochester, New York. Um, but, you know, I was just saying to Sam in the studio, what the dickens is going on? What's going on with this weather? I mean, it's like raining every minute. There's moss on the trees. Are we living in a rainforest or something? There's moss on the trees. Normally our trees are dry and crispy right? But now we've got moss on it. It's wet and rainy every day. And I'm wondering, am I living in England? Because I just got back from London and they had um, beautiful weather. It, um, it uh, was sunny and bright. I think it rained twice while I was out there. And people, I got a sunburn. Can you believe it? I actually got a sunburn in London on my neck. I went to the park and I was just hanging out on the grass. And another thing, I was laying in the grass and pretending like I was a puppy and rolling around in the grass. And then I got up from the grass and literally my arms were burning. I think I have an allergic reaction to grass because I've been living in New York so long and I haven't rolled around in the grass and now I have an allergic reaction. But what is with this weather? It's like, it's driving me insane. I want to strip off. I want to wear like a little tiny tank top. I want to get my arms, my shoulders out. I don't get burned in New York, but I want to get like that. What's going on? When is this going to happen? I've never experienced this before. We had heat today. I haven't had heat in my apartment in May in decades. I had no heat in my apartment because I turned it off. And yesterday I was freezing in bed. I mean, I do sleep naked, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's my show. If I want to talk about my nakedness, I do that, right? Look, somebody just applauded me on that. Thank you so much. Yeah, but it was cold yesterday. And, um, and, and I don't know. I don't know what's going on. When do you think we're going to get some heat? Do they anticipate any heat coming? You know, what? But like, come on, I want it to be 70 every day. I know, right? I think times are changing. I think global warming is upon us. We are getting, somebody send me love for that. Thank you. So, hi, um, Salik and Ron and John and Marie, Marie Jean, Je, Marie Jean. How are you guys doing? Um, how are you guys feeling about the weather? Let me know. And also call in. You can call in. I'm going to have a really great guest on. Anyway, I met this lady. I've, I've been having like a really um, intuitive experience over the last few weeks when it comes to money, right? And that intuitive feeling is, I have no damn money. <laughs> That's the reality of it. But you know what? I sort of made a declaration that I wanted to pay off my credit card. I had this credit card for a huge amount of money, right? And uh, for $14,000, actually. And I called the credit card company and told them, but I don't know when I'm going to make a payment to you guys because I, I don't have any money right now. I just got back from England. And so they said, oh, you could settle it if you want to. I was like, what? You could settle it. What does that mean? Well, if you paid us $7,000 right now, you could settle it. And I said, dude, if I had $7,000, I'd make the payment right? So he says to me, well, what would you like to settle it for? God, my lips do look good. What would you like to settle it for? And I said, all right, all right, I'm going to play a game here. What about $3,500? And then I heard the click, right? Like a click in my psyche, like he's going to say yes. So he took all the information and he said, I have to get back to my, I have to get to my boss and, and see if she'll approve it. Of course it was approved. 
and uh, literally I knocked it out. Like I knocked, I made the, I had to make one payment. So what I agreed was, this was Tuesday. And I decided that like, I'll give you a payment by Friday. God only knows where this money was going to come from, but I was able to wrangle it in somehow. I don't know. Right. And then, um, so I said to him, then he goes, when would you like to make the next payment? I said, I'd like to make the ne next payment on the 28th. Cause I wanted to give myself a really big bridge, right. Just in case I couldn't cross it. But like I was committed to crossing that bridge. Right. And, um, I was thinking who could I ask to lend me this money? Right. And then I said to myself, it's got to be an exercise because I am a person that I've always been self-sufficient, always taking care of myself. I came here with $60 in my pocket. I never had to ask anybody. I've always earned my money. And all of a sudden, I'm in this situation, right, where I have no money or minimal money, right? And so I asked a friend of mine because I figured it's an exercise. It's the worst. It's, it's like it's like cutting my own throat with a dull razor to ask somebody for money, right? But I said, you know, here I am, I'm a coach. I've never bumped into this situation. I have clients that bump into this situation and I have to feel what they feel in order for me to grow because this is a growing experience. So I asked a friend of mine and he said, oh, I don't do that. I said, thank you for, thank you for listening. And then I was like in my apartment, I got this steamer, like a shark steamer. I'm steamer crazy right now. And I was steaming my floors and steaming the countertops because it's got all these parts. And um, all of a sudden I got this insight, ox bunny. And I was like, <sighs> back to the past. I've asked bunny to lend me money in the past one time because I needed to make, do a closing and I didn't have it and I was going to get it and da, 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 da. And he didn't, but I said, all right, don't be in the past, be in the future, give him a chance. So I asked my brother, Bunny, I said, can you give me $17.50? And he said, yeah, I, I can't give you $17.50, but I can give you $1,000. I was like, whoa, that's great. Sure. When can you do it? He goes, I'll bring it to Sheila's later and she'll get it to you. And then, and then um, he brought it to my sister um, and then he sent me an email. I sent you 1,300 pounds. So 1,300 pounds is $50 shy of what I needed, right? which was so cool. I was just like in gratitude, like, thank you. I'm walking down the street. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Thank you, universe. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I'm so great. It was so amazing. Right. And so I'll give it back to him. It'd be easier. Um, so I met this lady on the, on the internet, you know how it, it's, it's just kind of like how the universe just brings people to you because I feel like I'm in this transition right? Whereby, and I made the payment today. So everything was really great. And the guy at the bank was awesome. Shout out to Mr. Kirkpatrick in the house. And um, he was just so great, like so wonderful. We had such a great time giggling and laughing. And I said, you should be my coach and you should like stand for me to do this. He goes, you got this, you got this. And I was like, yeah, I got this. And then I got it. Right. And so this lady is like popped into my internet. Like I would say, the internet, an idea, you can rule the frigging world, right? And so I got this insight to bring her onto the show. And so now I'm going to bring in Carrie A.E. Cannon to the show. She's from upstate New York. She has this program called Divine from Within. And I always talking about life occurs from the inside and out, not the outside in, which most of us live in the world of doing instead of being, which instead of living in the world of human being, we live in the world of human doing. So Carrie, I would like to invite you to the show. Welcome to yeah. Beyond Potential, Live Life Your Way. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Noreen. It's an awesome pleasure to be here, and I'm so glad we were able to do this last minute and all that jazz. <laughs> so, so what, don't my lips look lovely? Oh, God, can you see my lips? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a thing with my lips tonight, maybe because that guy was like, you have the most beautiful smile. <laughs> I'm feeling really good. No, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really excited. I'm feeling alive. I mean, like, I am just on fire. I'm like, I'm loving it. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Carrie. So um, I guess I'll start in the beginning. I am a consciousness coach. And in, the in 
1998, I um, kind of discovered that everything that I thought was wrong with me was actually in my mind. It was mm-hmm. all in my head. And the universe life was bringing me circumstances and situations and events to um, help me see what I was thinking. So all of, I realized, um, and I'm trying to give you the quick and dirty because there's better stuff later. Um, so I realized that all of my hurtful experiences were actually there to show me the content, the context to understand the content of my thinking. Mm-hmm. And um, I knew, um, I knew that so I, my ex-husband, my now ex-husband, had given me an opportunity to uh, figure out what I really wanted to do because he was making six times more than I was. And um, I was like, wow, that's such an amazing gift. If I can do anything that I want, I'm going to figure out what my life purpose is. So that's when I discovered that my, my, um, all my hurtful experiences provided me with the context to understand the content of my thinking because I came across an article that said your special function which is really uh, the thing that brings us meaning in life is the exact opposite of whatever you perceive the reality of your own guilt, sin, or victimization. Mm -hmm. In other words, what's missing is your gift. Your weakness is your strength and your special dysfunction Mm -hmm. is your special function. And I always had body image issues. So I was like, what's my special dysfunction? So I was like, I'm fat. (laughs) I was like, no, that's not You're fat, plump, Um, and sexy. (laughs) And then I was like, I don't like myself. And I was like, yeah, no, that's not really it either. And I was like, I don't love myself. And when I had that thought, I started jumping around my living room, thanking everyone who had ever hurt me because I realized that um, they were showing me, you know, what I was thinking about myself and that it was up to me to change my um, ideas about myself. And it was, it also occurred to me that my special function or my life purpose was to learn how to love myself and teach others how to do the same. Mm -hmm. So that in a nutshell so self-love, and there's a, there's a method to why I'm telling you this little story first. So my work focuses on self-love and realization. So since that time, my work still focuses on self-love. However, my understanding and perception of the self has greatly expanded. Mm-hmm. And um, that sort of leads into the work that I'm doing now with consciousness alignment, which um, I'm hoping that you got a chance to watch that second video. Yeah, I did. Um, before we, you know, yeah, uh, so that you can have some experience on what that was. Did you have a chance to listen to that? Yes, I did. And we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. Are you stuck in a rut? Negative thoughts, feelings, and conversations got you down? Hi, I'm Noreen Sumter, the Potentiator. Tune in every Tuesday at 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time and listen for new ideas on my show, Beyond Potential, Live Life Your Way, on talkradio.nyc. Who do you want to connect with? Are you an entrepreneur or intrapreneur looking to build your following? Welcome to our show. Follow, Follow Me Friday, Friday with Joan and Priya. Tune in every Friday at noon Eastern on talkradio.nyc. We're, We're your, your digital, digital connectors. connectors. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> Talking Alternative Radio, 24 hours a day. And we're back. This is Noreen Sumter on Beyond Potential, Live Life Your Way. And tonight I'm speaking with Kerry A.E. Kenyon. Kerry, if I messed up your name, you have to tell me because that's like one of my No worries. It's canon like the gun. No worries. Canon. Okay. (laughs) So 
I, I printed out your book here and it says um, you develop the workshop through your personal experience, which we all teach what we need to learn. Mine is the area of confidence and self-esteem. And it was, you wrote this in 1998, but it's still useful for people today. And you found that your self-image was cultivated during early childhood. And therefore, this workshop is centered on childhood wounds, right? We're all wounded. Yeah, that's the Uncovering the Divine Within. So mm -hmm. that's, the, that's my first work that I did in 1998. Mm -hmm. And um, so what I have moved into is that um, I actually have grown. So in, there's a thing called the, the videos that you're watching. Mm -hmm. are, um, they're like a three-part video series that can be accessed through my website. And, this, and your link will be on, in the replay. Um, but if you, one were to go to the divinewithin.com mm -hmm. uh, website and get on the list, they can access that um, you know, just by listening. Um, but so what I do now, and I'd love to be able to share this with your listeners at, at some point in the show, mm -hmm. is um, there's a lot of talk about the law of attraction and a lot of coaches do I law love of the law of attraction. And a lot of people have issues with the law of attraction because it doesn't seem to work. Well, they have issues and, with themselves. Um, what I'm teaching now, and the reason that I say that my definition of the self has greatly expanded is because I realize that my life and my experience is actually me, mm -hmm. that I am consciousness and you are consciousness. And everything is consciousness. So my computer is consciousness. Your microphone is consciousness. The salt lamp behind you. And in fact, I have a salt lamp behind me. That is consciousness. And, um, and how we connected with consciousness. Experience and every single idea, whether it's made manifest or not, is also consciousness. And our words are consciousness. Yeah. So everything, all of it, anything. Mm -hmm. And um, so I realized that that is me. I am that. I am the totality of my experience because I am consciousness. Consciousness lives through me. And it's not that I am living a life. It's not that Carrie is living a life. It's that life is living Carrie. Mm -hmm. And from that perspective, we can actually call in um, different things. And it's, um, not, it's not a way of attracting things. It's a way of just calling things in because you already are it. So, um, for example, you can't, like, let's say you... Um, Let's, let's take an example um, of what I'm, I'm working on right now for myself, which is I'm working on building my business, generating more clients, you know, so that they will actually live into the possibility that I'm creating for myself in the world and sharing it, which is having people live life their way in a way that works for them. Right. So right. I need money to keep myself afloat to keep my business going so that I can generate more clients and just have the circle repeat itself. Okay, so right, let's look right. at that as a possibility. Okay, awesome. That's awesome. So um, first I want to frame this. So you are your business. There's mm -hmm. no separation between you and your business, right? Okay. Um, your, your interactions through your business with your clients, that is, um, they, your clients are also you. I know it, it may sound out, way outside of the box, mm -hmm. but your clients, are also an aspect of consciousness, which is you. So it's all consciousness playing with itself. Right. And then your financial flow, you, the, the finances associated with that, the energy exchange is also you. Mm -hmm. And there's zero separation between you and any of it, any, any of it. And um, so the more you can claim of yourself, the more you can call these things in. So, uh, what I do is instead of um, helping people to sort of train themselves to attract things, I don't, I don't work with mindset. I work with perspective. So I help people to actually self-identify in a completely different way so that they can see that consciousness is looking through their eyes. Consciousness speaks through their voice. Consciousness hears the, 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 thing, the sounds that they hear, consciousness thinks their thoughts, mm -hmm. and they're a vessel through which consciousness experiences itself. Okay. So give me... From give, that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you want an example? Yes, please. Okay. So from that, um, when you are everything, there is no gap between you and the thing which you desire, right. because it's already you. Right. And... Um, so that lives in the world of I am. 
What was that? It lives in the world of I am. Right, right. But it's more intimate than that even. Okay. It, um, it's almost like uh, there's nothing apart from you, the you that is, mm-hmm. the I that, you know, the I am. There is nothing apart from that. So mm-hmm. I am all of everything. Mm-hmm. And from that perspective, um, you know, I am every thought. I am every emotion. I am every sound. I am every everything. Mm -hmm. And the work that I do, um, I actually, because I work at what I call the super conscious level, which is the level of consciousness that um, encompasses everything, Mm -hmm. um, I can actually call in things for other people. And this can be taught and it can be learned. Um, but it's so far outside of the box that most people have no idea that it's even a possibility, let alone that's something that they can do. So I would like, I would love to at some point be able to um, actually do a consciousness alignment for, because I'm assuming that most of your audience is also building businesses and they're trying to generate more clients and financial flow. Would well, that be <clears> something <throat> good to call in for yeah, your show? That would be good. And okay. yeah, my clients are a mix of, my clients are a big bag of everything right oh so that's perfect my clients are a big bag of everything and nothing and like you said consciousness right okay so yeah so awesome something that's really um for a lot a lot of people uh finances is a big thing so and you know i would imagine that um people who are listening to your show are um probably if they're not in their own business, they probably have a passion mm-hmm. that they would love to be able to participate in more of. Mm-hmm. Well, I know, Mr. That I know that I got a few people on the show right now, as in Mr. Foster, um, who is a client of mine, would love to bring in some, generate some money and generate some uh, clients for his business. He's a wonderful photographer. And uh, yeah, so that would be great. Caroline Carton also, there's a bunch of people on here that could definitely use an alignment and to call in um, something that they are passionate and they desire. Yeah, that's, I welcome it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just write. I'm just writing uh, things down so that I remember while I'm doing this. Okay. So before I do a consciousness alignment, I, I just want to um, help everybody to know what's going on here. So I'm going to access the super conscious mind, which is also you. Mm-hmm. Um, and I get kind of loud, so don't be, don't let that frighten you. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not one of the I live in New York soft. City. I'm yeah. not easily frightened. <laughs> I'm not one of these soft people who will do a meditation. No, I'm like totally the opposite. You're gonna bring um, it. You're gonna bring it right tenfold. That's right. That's right. And um, when you're listening to me, um, if you're listening to me now or during the replay, please do not be doing dishes, folding laundry, uh, taking care of a toddler, any of that. If you, if you can't pay full attention to what I'm saying, please just stop it now and then listen later because this is, first of all, it's very powerful. And a lot of people, I'm not saying everyone, but a lot of people feel energetic shifts while I'm speaking. And um, if you're not listening to what I'm saying, it may, uh, the, the effect may be marginal because you want to really hear what I'm saying and we don't want marginal. We want, you know, absolute. So, uh, and say yes to yourself as I'm speaking. And mm-hmm. then that will help you to, uh, help the universe to know that this is what you want. You know, it'll, it'll allow you to also know that you're being open. Okay. So let's, so approximately I, how long is this going to take? Cause we don't want to have to take a break in between. Well, well how long do we have? I how long do we have? I can do, we have five minutes. Four five minutes. minutes. We can four do minutes. Five minutes. Okay, go ahead. All right. All right. I'm just going to ground this, myself. This is, hey guys, you should join in and do this. You never know yeah, what will absolutely. happen. You never know what will come, come about with doing this exercise. Right. So listen to her. Just listen, just listen and say yes to yourself. Just say yes to Okay, yourself. ready? Okay, I'm ready. Thank you, divine consciousness that lives in through and as me and everyone who hears, everyone, it is the consciousness that speaks, it is the consciousness that hears, it is the consciousness that experiences all of life in through and as all of the different faculties, all of the different senses. It is the consciousness in this present moment of now. Thank you for bringing in 
for releasing anything in the way of building a phenomenal business for this person who is listening now across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Thank you for releasing anything in the way of that across all time, space, dimension, and reality, going down the mother's side of the family and the father's side of the family, going back 10,000 generations, any blocks, any family stories, any fears, any limitations, any circumstances, any scenarios, any family lineage that has gotten in the way any anything that they this person has brought in with them it, at this point thank you for completely deleting uncreating and releasing that from this person's consciousness now across all time space dimension and reality and thank you for lining this person for realigning their neural pathways and neural receptors so that they are successful in business and they have amazing ideas and they're passionate about their their business and they're passionate about life and life and their businesses flows through them so easily and so authentically and so genuinely that everyone can see that this person has a, a, a passion for what they do and they're magnetically attracted to this person. And thank you for creating a, a situation and a scenario and a story for this person so that they have clients that are just coming in and banging down their door and asking to be clients and, and wanting to give them money and, and desiring to give them money regardless of what this person is charging for whatever it is that they're offering. Thank you for anything in the way that delete, uncreate, and transmute across all time, space, dimension, and reality now. Thank you for deleting, uncreating, and transmuting across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Now, going down the mother's side of the family and the father's side of the family, going back 10,000 generations. And thank you for creating a new consciousness in this person that they've inherited from 10,000 generations of family lineage to allow them to be free and open and passionate and to live life with zest and zeal so that they are magnetically attractive to people in their lives, that people are mag magnetized to them and want what they have to offer now. Thank you for lining every vibrating molecule, every spinning atom, every strand of DNA in their physical body and their etheric body now to live this life of passion and creativity and building their business. And thank you for creating a financial flow in this person and making them a vessel of affluence, affluence now so that money flows in and through them. It affluently flows money and life and all of the the beautiful things that life has to offer now across all time, space, dimension, and reality. And thank you for releasing them from anything in the way of that. And thank you for, for rewiring their neural pathways and neuroreceptors so that they have this new, they, they experience themselves as a vessel of financial prosperity that flows, where money flows in and it flows out so freely and so easily. And thank you for releasing them from any fears of not having enough money or any worries about not having enough money. Thank you for releasing them from that now across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Thank you, it is already done. Thank you, it is already done now. Thank you, it is already done now. And thank you for imprinting this person now and forevermore through the rest of their life here on planet Earth a thousand times now and a thousand times a day until it is done, until it is complete. Thank you, it is already done. And thank you for any children that they have or their children's children and forevermore through their entire family lineage. Thank you for imprinting their entire family lineage going, going from now and forevermore, now and forevermore through their entire family lineage to also inherit this new consciousness now across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Every vibrating molecule, every spinning atom, every level of consciousness, every strand of DNA, every parallel reality. Thank you. It's already done. Thank you. It's already done now. Thank you. It's already done now. Okay. Take a deep breath and push it all out and take another deep breath and push it all out okay wow we have to take a break we'll be right back you're listening to the talking alternative network <laughs> Do you love or are you intrigued about New York City and its neighborhoods? I'm Jeff Goodman, host of Rediscovering New York, a weekly show that showcases New York's history and its extraordinary neighborhoods. Every Tuesday live at 7 p.m., we focus on a particular neighborhood and explore its history, its vibe, its feel, and its energy. Tune in live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on talkradio.nyc. Talking Alternative Radio. 24 hours a day. Are 
And we're back on Beyond Potential, Live Life Your Way. I had to take a pause there for a minute. Um, <laughs> ooh. Do you want me to do a grounding? Yes, please. That would be lovely. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. It's, this will be quick. Thank you, Divine Consciousness, that lives in through and as everything, as every thought, as every idea, as every everything. Thank you for grounding the person who's listening to this now. Thank you for pulling their energy back into their body now so that they can function. Thank you for doing this now across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Thank you for grounding them so that they can have all their energy back and they can be grounded and they can pay attention to whatever it is that they need to do in this moment and the rest of the day. Thank you. It's already done. Thank you. It's already done now. Thank you. It's already done now. And so it is. Okay. Oh, okay, I can feel. I can take a deep breath and drink some water. <laughs> okay, I think you tried to blow the top of my head off. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was amazing. I don't like uh, that. What? How did you guys feel? Did you feel it? I have um um. How many people in the room? One, two, three, four, five. I forgot I had a count. There's five of us in the room. Bree, did you feel it? We all felt that. Good. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Thank you. So I want to just make it clear. This is not a gift that only Carrie Cannon has. Everybody has this gift. It is an innate and natural part of who you are. Everyone has it. Right. And I, everyone can learn it. Yeah, I, I realize that because through coaching, it's like creating um, with my clients. You know, I'm never shocked when they, we create something in one week and they come back to me and two weeks later and say that thing is, you know, that thing that we created happened, Right. Mm -hmm. the job that they wanted, yep. the ease and grace that they wanted to get it with, the exact thing of what they want to do. And like, <clears throat> when I started um, coaching, I was a little freaked out. Not freaked out in a bad way, but like, wow, this thing really, this is working, right? Mm -hmm. And yep. it was something that was going through me. When I first started coaching, like I had to do one hour's worth of coaching warranted five hours of sleep. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you do you find that for yourself, like when you um, first actually, started? Not anymore, mm -hmm. um, because I've shifted my perspective. So now it's kind of like Carrie isn't doing any of the work. I'm just the vessel yeah. through which the work. You're is just done. a channel. Yeah, but like in the beginning, you ha I had to you had to learn to be present and stay present and stay out of your head. Absolutely. And that's yes. what I found. That's, yeah. And that's why it took me one hour. To, I needed five hours of sleep because I needed to put myself back yeah. together because you, we're creating, you know, you're, I was creating new pathways in my mind, body, and also to stay present and keep contained, like be that vessel, that container for the person. So it was very, um, it was a lot of strain, right? I couldn't do yeah. three people in one day. I'd be completely mashed up, right? Mm -hmm. But now I can do multiple people. I can talk to multiple people, you know, back to back. And I don't have, the, I get energized actually. Right. So yeah. Right. So I, I really, it, that was wonderful. Thank you so much for that. You. that you You're know, welcome. And how, so I just want people to know how I, you know, connected with you. Like I, I told the story about, money conversation and then you it was today was it today you reached out yep. to me it was yep yep i think it was this morning yep. it was this morning that you reached i swear to god it feels like we reached out and we've communicated with each other for weeks <laughs> right it's like i just met yeah. this woman this morning and about when did i send you that email was it about six, six around six yeah, yeah. around six o'clock i got this insight noreen invite this woman to come on the show and I didn't question it because I, I know better than to question my intuition these days. So I just sent out an email to her and said, you know what? Hey, this is random, but would you like to come on my show? I have a show and I'd love you to come on. And what's the worst that she could say was no, right? 
And like, this is an amazing opportunity for you to share your gifts and talents with us. So I'm really grateful and thank you in my universe. Thanks oh, thank you, you. Thank for being you. on the show. So let, can you share some stories um, of um, things oh, yeah. that you've actually helped people um, attract, not attract, consciously yeah. create in yeah, their so life? Has, has kind of brought, been brought in. Um, well, there's a bunch of stories. Um, so I, my favorite story, and, and people will hear this again and again, but I just love it. It's my favorite story, and I like telling it. Mm -hmm. um, so I was uh, an author for a compilation book. Um, it was my second book. My first one was single. And when I was discovering that I had this gift, I was asking people if they would like to be my guinea pigs. And the compiling author said, oh, I would love to, you know, take advantage of what you're offering. Let's, you know, see how, it, let's see how it goes. And, um, she, she has, or at the time her daughter was 18 years old and they live in Australia. So welfare is called the dole mm -hmm. there. Yeah, same in England. And, um, she told me that she was having issues with her daughter because her daughter had turned 18. She was no longer in high school. She was, um, had, she had a shopping habit and, um, she told her, she was like, listen, sweetie, I love you but I cannot afford to support your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So you either need to go on the dole or you need to get a job. And so as the 18 year old that she was, she went on the, went on the dole. <laughs> so now she could afford the clothes that she wanted, but she was lounging around the house, not contributing, you know, being a teenager. And um, so my friend was, was um, like, you know, this is, uh, this isn't working for me. And she said, it's, it's really interfering with my relationship with her. So I would like that healed. And I would like for our book to be a bestseller. Okay. And I was like, okay, so it sounds to me like your relationship with your daughter is actually good, but the kid just needs to find some, something to do. She mm -hmm. needs a job. She needs to find some meaning in her life or something. I said, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a consciousness alignment that as, you know, as her 18 year old self, she doesn't have to put out any effort and she is going to land her dream job, 18 year old dream job. Okay. And I said, and then what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to make her feel so good about herself that it's going to spill over into her relationship with you. And that's going to be healed. How does that sound? And she was like, well, that sounds great to me. Mm -hmm. And um, the other one was she wanted our book to be a bestseller. And I was like, well, that's nice, but why don't we ask for a number one international bestseller? And she was like, can we do that? I was like, we can ask. So about two or three weeks later, she um, called me and she, cause we were working on the book still. And she called me and she said, I have to tell you what happened with my daughter. So she was in her favorite shop in her favorite boutique, I knew it. bending her check. And um, the shop owner approached her and said, um, how would you like to model for our internet and print presence? You'd get paid. You would get a discount on clothing and if you wanted to start a modeling portfolio, you'd be able to start that too. And so that was like, okay, check, dream job, 18 year old, boom, you know. Then the next one took a little longer because there were edits to do and, you know, rewrites and things like that. But on American Thanksgiving uh, 2015, our book went to number one on Amazon in the United States, Australia, Canada, the UK, and the Netherlands. Awesome. So it works. It really works. So how would you, like, like, how would you talk to a novice person? I mean, this is an ideal show because my, this, the Sam who runs the studio, he has a show called the Conscious, Conscious Consultant Hour. So this is one of his favorite topics, which is consciousness, okay. right? He's like deeply into that. So mm -hmm. how would you share this information with somebody that has no spiritual background, no consciousness, no sense of consciousness is literally grounded in on the earth and has no, no spiritual anything, right? How would you, and they're looking to transform their life. How would you educate them? I would probably start actually from the different perspective, but you know, a lot of people, it, it really depends upon the person. Mm -hmm. Honestly, when people hear this, um, depending upon their level of skepticism, 
they will say either that it works or that it doesn't work. Right. And um, which there's a level of, you know, truth to both of those statements. Mm -hmm. um, so in our lives, and I'm going to come back around to answer that. Mm -hmm. So in our lives, we're always uh, presented with uh, different doors that we end up going through. And a lot of times we end up going through the same door and we mm -hmm. have very similar experiences. And um, what I have found is that when people listen to this, mm -hmm. whether they believe it or not, um, you know, they'll find that like those doors that they've always gone through sort of close and different doors open up. that are more in alignment with the things that they want start to remain open. So we'll always see in our lives, okay, there's this door, there's that door, there's this door. I would really love to go through that door over there, but then that door doesn't open for you. Right. You know, it doesn't become a possibility. And people will notice through their different, um, you know, through the different choices that are presented to them. And honestly, the reason I tell people to say yes is to allow it to come in. So mm -hmm. if somebody doesn't believe that it's a possibility for them, however, there's a willingness a willingness to experience it, then they'll experience it. But if somebody's not willing to experience it, they won't experience it. Right. And how do you it deal? Will. Like, I want to know. It's like because there, there are multiples of people on the planet, and I know when you speak, you're not speaking to any particular religion, right? Because you have no. here Allah, yeah. you have Christianity, you have Buddha, you have everybody, right? Everybody is yeah. is reflected in what you do. But how do you speak yeah. to individuals that are like? I'm a stunt Christian and I believe in God and Jesus and that is it and nothing comes through Jesus. How would you talk to that person? Actually, the first time I ever had um, an experience with something like this was at Unity Village in Lee Summit, Missouri. And mm -hmm. it was a Jesus experience mm -hmm. um, because we were going through the Bible, the miracles in the Bible. And um, oh, man, I was at... so. This um, this week long experience, I was taking um, four classes we got, a day. We got one minute. We're gonna we're gonna we're, we're, you know what? We're gonna take a break, and you're gonna hold that yep. thought, and we'll get right back yep. to you. All right. You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. <laughs> Best designs for your life start at home. I'm David Thiergartner, interior designer and host of At Home. Listen live Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time as we talk to the very best professionals about interior design and the design that's all around us right here on talkradio.nyc. Are you a conscious co-creator? Are you on a quest to raise your vibration and your consciousness? I'm Sam Leibowitz, your Conscious Consultant. And on my show, The Conscious Consultant Hour, Awakening Humanity, we will touch upon all these topics and more. Listen live at our new time on Thursdays at 12 noon Eastern Time. That's The Conscious Consultant Hour, Awakening Humanity, Thursdays, 12 noon on talkradio.nyc. TalkingAlternative.com So we're back. This is Noreen Sumter on Beyond Potential, Live Life Your Way. And I'm speaking to Carrie A.E. Cannon. So Carrie, so you're gonna, we're going to fill in on that question that yep. we, I asked you. Okay. So um, I was at this spiritual uh, education program and um, one of my instructors was teaching two of my classes. And on Monday, she did, did not wear a splint on her hand. And on Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday she did. And um, somebody asked her what happened. And um, she said that she had gotten into a car accident 10 years before. And sometimes her hand would hurt and she'd wear the splint. So on Wednesday, we were going through all of Jesus's miracles. 
and again and again and again. So there was a rhyme and a, there was like a method to his madness. He would be presented with something. He would go within and align with himself with who he was, or he would go into meditation. My assumption is that he would align himself with who he was. And then he would come out with a knowing, and then he would do his little theatrical thing, you know, like spit on tongues, poke fingers and ears, whatever. And um, then people thought that that was what created the miracle, but the miracle was the knowing, the knowing of his true nature. And or at least that's my perception. Mm -hmm. um, so I, after the first hour of this class on Wednesday, going through these miracles, I knew that we could do anything that he could do because he told us that we could. Mm -hmm. And um, so I found a little spot after the one hour break of this two hour class. And I asked if there was anything I could do for this instructor's hand. And I got a yes. And I was like, okay, well, what do I do? And I got just no. And I was like, really? Just no. And I got just no. So I went in, held her hand, told her, I don't know how, I just know that your hand is healed. And I really had to step out of the way and let consciousness do the work. And um, then somebody walked in and said, your hand is healed already. And um, the next day she came in and she wasn't wearing her splints and she, and somebody asked her about it. And she said, you know, I woke up today and my hand felt better than it had since before the accident. So I was like, Hmm, that's very interesting. And um, then about a year later, she was sending out emails and stuff. And I asked her, I said, Hey, do you remember when I told you that your hand was healed? You had your hand in a splint, blah, blah, blah. And she said, yeah. And I said, well, how's it going? You know, is, is it still healed? What's going on? And she said, you know, I totally forgot about it. Yeah, it's fine. My hand is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's completely fine. Um, so that showed me that was my touchstone. Right. And um, from so if anybody if like I've had people tell me, oh, how do you know it's Jesus? How do you know this? How do you know that? And, you know, people are going to believe like, you know, when I tell them that story, you know, and people are going to believe what they want to believe. Exactly. If they want to believe that I'm a charlatan and it's the, it's the devil working through me, that's what they're going to believe. You know what? And, you know, ha have fun with that. You know, I'm, I'm empowering myself. And I know that, you know, I have a host of um, consciousness that is backing me up on this. Like right. the universe is on my side and fully supporting me in this work. And right. if you are so close minded that you can't, um, allow me to speak my truth in your presence, then I have no time for you. Right. So, so. in one of your writings that I'm reading here, it says that your special function is the polar opposite of what you believe to be the reality of your own guilt, right? Sin or victimization. Yeah. Whatever you think is your problem is your answer. Whatever you think is yeah. your problem is your answer. What is missing is yeah. your gift. Your weakness is your strength. Your damnation is your salvation. Your special dysfunction is your special function. So what I hear that to say is like my program, Live Life Your Own Way, comes out of my experience of my life growing up where I wanted to be my own person, do my own thing. And then I had parents who, even though they weren't like my parents weren't hard on me, I still wanted to do my own thing. And like I wanted to leave the house and go about my business when I felt like it. And mm -hmm. um, my mother, I wore her down. I literally wore her down. If my pen, if my mother was a pencil, she'd be a nub. Because, <laughs> like, seriously, I would go out and she'd get mad and she'd be like, I'm going to bust your ass. I'd be like, I'll take it. I'll take a beating because I went out and I had fun. And literally, after a while, she saw that I said, I'm not doing anything. Oh, what was I doing? eating bird's angel delight which was the nastiest dessert ever so i'd go out with my friends and eat bird's angel delight and you know and then i'd come home late and she'd be like where you been didn't i tell you not to leave the house and i'd be like i'll take it i'll take a beating and she never did because right. what's the point right so right. my conversation and my mission in life is to have people live life their way not mommy's right. way daddy's way not the univ not not society's way, your way. And what that is, is designing a life that works for you. Doing the jobs that you love, being with the people you love. And and I think that's a part of consciousness. And you know, we do these things that are our we have to build our confidence, build our strengths, right? So this this com this little piece that you wrote here, our strength, your weakness is your strength and your damnation is your salvation. And your, so what's your special dysfunction? Mine, I didn't love myself. Right. You know, and so my, my what life. What was that like for you, been, not loving yourself? What was that actually like? 
Well, because I, I would I would judge myself. You know, mm-hmm. So that's what not loving yourself is. And anytime we judge ourselves, and everybody has that, you know, some level of that. Right. And whenever whatever it is that you judge yourself for, so that's what that, that means. So whatever you judge yourself for, whatever you're trying to hide from everybody else, whatever you don't want other people to see, whatever you're trying to reject or disown, that's where you don't love yourself. Right. And so that's the thing that you need to claim, like claim your wild child, claim your body, claim your, um, you know, love of you know, being a geek or whatever that thing is, Mm -hmm. you got to claim it, you know, and if you like being quiet and sort of by yourself, claim that, you know, you don't have to be a different person because now from my perspective, that's consciousness living you. It's living through you. That's consciousness choosing to want to be in that quiet space. So that's consciousness choosing to, you know, have that body and, and learn the lessons from having that body. And that's consciousness that wants to just do its own thing and not conform. So there's when you can release yourself from that judgment from that self judgment and just love yourself for however you show up that's that's self love and and to me that's the core of everything just allowing yourself to be and to have that self love so it's being gives you what you're doing and doing gives you what you have and then you have the life you want and so most people feel that you know they've been working on a job 9000 years right? Mm -hmm. And so we're no longer living in a static environment anymore. I think things are changing frequently and fast, Mm -hmm. right? So there's no such thing as a person that's going to be on a job for 30 years anymore, right? One of the things I always dreamt of having, why can't I be on a job for 30 years like somebody else? Why am I leaving my (laughs) job in six months? (laughs) I used to make myself so wrong for that. Like, why can't I just be normal? (laughs) you know, and stay on a job for like a year. I, oh, it was so difficult. So it's, it's kind of like we just have to allow ourselves to be who we are. And that's the discovery, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And so for somebody who's listening to this that needs to just be who they are, because it's funny because people always say, I'm just going to be who I am. But the question is, who are you? Mm-hmm. Right? It's like, who are you really? We're everything and nothing, like you just said, right? We're consciousness and we're just consciousness. Yeah, we're, and we're the absence. We're, we're, we are all of everything and the bits between. You know, we're, we're the poten- we are the potentiality and we are the actuality. So I love my title. I can thank Sam for that, Beyond Potential. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a perfect show for you because we can go beyond our potential. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have no idea what that potential is. Like, I feel like, so, you know, that the more, I mean, we all know the more you grow, like you, you think you're going to reach some plateau, but you never reach a plateau. There is no plateau. There is no plateau. Growing and growing and growing. Right. I always say that um, when I liken it to uh, uh, Branson, right? So Branson started Virgin Records. Where is Virgin Records Mm -hmm. today? Eh, Gone. Right. It's just, and right. if, if he'd have stopped at Virgin Records, we wouldn't have known him any further. He would not have airlines and all kinds of, you know, 300 and something different businesses, which he owns and lets other people run. He just would have reached right. his potential and gone on. So I think it's absolutely amazing. Thank, I just, so we're coming to the end of the show. Is there anything, how can people reach you? Um, So you can go to Mm divinewithin.com and, um, you know, you can sign up for the newsletter if you'd like. And then you'll, there's a three part video series that um, I actually break this down into chunks. I do, um, you know, there's, there's, they're each 15 minutes. And then if you want to learn how to do it yourself, we actually have um, a program that um, is released every few months. Actually, it's going to be like towards the end of this month, we're going to be starting it again. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you're listening to this now or within the next week or so, um, you can get in on the program. Um, I don't think we're going to be offering it again until like August or September or something like that. Right. Um, but yeah, so this, this give month us the, is May. Give us the email. Give us the email. Um, well, go to divinewithin.com or you can, um, like you can go uh, to carry at divinewithin.com is my email. You can mm-hmm. reach me there. Um, So yeah, that's how you can do it. And uh, yeah, and if you're interested in learning how to do this with a supportive community, um, like we've got all sorts of different things that are involved with that. But um, yeah, that that really support people in 
um, holding that perspective because it's awesome. a perspective. And when you have a perspective, everything is so much easier. It's so much easier than trying to use law of attraction and calling things in and doing 10,000 affirmations. It's just like, it's so, it's so much easier. Right. So, so, um, Carrie, um, I just want to say thank you for, you know, so impromptu, well, the universe and the consciousness called you in. Yes, into my right. world. So I just want to thank you for coming on the show and we'll talk, you know, tomorrow. And um, I just want to say to everybody that joined the show, thank you for tonight. I hope the um, prayer was great for you. And if you want to talk to me, you can reach me on Noreen Sumter on Noreen at NoreenSumterCoach.com Beyond Potential Live Life Your Way at www.talkradio.nyc and I will see you Next week on Beyond Potential, have a potential week. <laughs> Bye. You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. Ding, 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 ding,